We're now halfway through the training. In this part, we shall learn about the basics of troubleshooting. Bago tayo tumawag sa ating IT department, suriin muna natin ang problema at subukang bigyan ng solusyon. System restoration and backup. Laptop one key recovery or restore. Recovery guide. Pindutin ang F9 habang ang DepEd logo ay nasa screen. Ang laptop ay mag auto enter sa recovery mode. And you will need to input Y or N to continue or exit. Huwag pumindot ng kahit anong key para hindi ma-interrupt ang proseso. Lalabas ang applying image percentage. Dapat itong maging 100%. After ma-reach ang 100%, magpapakita ang image recovery complete sa screen. I-type ang exit at pindutin ang enter sa keyboard. Take note na ang one key recovery at this point is a success. Kaya naman ang laptop will boot normally and get ready to restart. Mag-login gamit ang default username at password. Laptop Hold Disk Recovery using U-Disk or Flash Drive. Recovery Guide Insert lamang ang U-Disk or Flash Drive Recovery sa any USB port ng laptop at i-power on ito. Pindutin ang F7 habang ang DepEd logo ay nasa screen para sa booting option. Sa booting option, piliin ang tamang pangalan ng U-Disk or Flash Drive Recovery and press Enter. Kaya ang magproseso ang U-Disk. Huwag pumindot ng kahit anong key para hindi ma-interrupt ang proseso. Lalabas ang applying image percentage. Dapat itong maging 100%. After ma-reach ang 100%, magpapakita ang image recovery complete sa screen. I-type ang exit at pindutin ang enter sa keyboard. Take note na ang one key recovery at this point is a success. Kaya naman ang laptop will boot normally and get ready to restart. Log in gamit ang default username at password. How to update operating system or OS and antivirus software. Piliin ang Start Windows mula sa kaliwang sulok sa baba ng keyboard. Number 2. Pumunta sa mga setting or gear icon. Number 3. Piliin ang icon ng Update at Security. Number 4. 
Piliin ang tab na pag-update ng Windows sa sidebar. Mga pabilog na araw ang itsura nito. Number 5. Piliin ang Check for Update. If there's an available update, magsisimula itong mag-download automatically. How to perform preventive maintenance. This includes proper handling of the units. Number 1. Ilayo ang mga likido at pagkain mula sa iyong laptop at tablet. Ang natapong mga likido ay maaaring makapinsala sa panloob ng mga sangkap o maging sanhi ng pinsala sa kuryente sa laptop. Number 2. Panatiliing malinis ang kamay kapag ginagamit ang iyong laptop at tablet. Ang mga malinis na kamay ay ginagawang mas madali ang paggamit ng iyong touchpad at magkakaroon ng mas konting peligro na maiwan ang dumi at iba pang mga mansa sa computer. Number 3. Kapag isinara mo ang iyong laptop or tablet, tiyaking walang maliit na mga items tulad ng ballpen or small earphone sa keyboard. Maaari ito makapinsala sa display screen kapag nakasara ito. Number 4. Huwag hilahin bigla ang cord ng laptop or adapter ng tablet. Dahil ang bigla ang pagkuha ng power cord mula sa socket ng kuryente ay maaaring maputol ang plug o makapinsala sa power socket. Number 5. Huwag ilabas ang iyong laptop at tablet sa mabilis na pagbago-bago ng temperature tulad ng mainit na panahon at maulan. Number 6. Iwasang maglagay ng mabibigat na materyales tulad ng mga libro sa tuktok ng iyong laptop at keyboard. Number 7. Use and store in a well-circulated area. Gamitin ang laptop sa isang lugar na may maayos na sirkulasyon ng hangin tulad ng electric fan or air conditioner. How to replace the hard disk, memory, CD-ROM, and other computer peripherals. Ipinagbabawal ang pagpapalit ng hard disk, memory, CD-ROM, and other computer peripherals. Kung ito ay nasa ilalim ng warranty, maaari kayong tumawag at magtanong tungkol sa service warranty. Tignan yung contact information na nakaprint sa sticker ng mga unit. Hands-on troubleshooting, laptop and tablet. Computers aren't powering on. If your computers are not powering on at all, not even a single light is lit, then there must be a problem with the power source. If the power outlet, extension, and other connections are working fine, then the problem may be the power adapter or charger. Replace the charger to see if it turns on. If you don't have a spare, please refer it to the service center and request for a new power adapter. Blue Screen of Death The cause of Blue Screen of Death ay maaaring parehong problema sa hardware at software. Kadalasan, ito ay problema sa software. Meron po tayong solusyon para sa blue screen na ito. Meron tayong tinatawag na one key and whole key disk recovery option para sa laptop. Please review the video of restoration and backup. Keyboard is not working. If your keyboard is not working, try the following steps. Number 1. Restart the computer. Number 2. In Windows, search for an open device manager. Number 3. Click View and then select Show Hidden Devices. Number 4. Click the arrow next to Keyboards. Right-click the keyboard name and then click Uninstall to remove the device from Windows. Number 5. Remove all devices in the keyboard's category, and then restart the computer. The keyboard should now work correctly.
audio is not working. If your audio is not working, try the following steps. Check the volume. It's possible that you may have accidentally muted the volume on your computer, either by striking the mute button or clicking the speaker icon on the Windows taskbar. To check your volume, tap the mute button or the add volume button on your laptop's keyboard or click the speaker icon in the lower right side of the taskbar and unmute or turn up the volume. Try using headphones. If your computer built-in speakers aren't working, try plugging in your headphones or use external speakers. If you get audio through external audio devices, the problem may be with your computer speakers. Run Audio Troubleshooter Windows Audio Troubleshooter can help automatically fix audio problems on your laptop. To do this, click Start Settings System Sound and select Troubleshoot Alternatively, type Audio Troubleshooter in the search box on the taskbar. Click Fix and find problems with playing sound and then click Next. Computer screen black but works on external monitor. If your screen is not working, try the following steps. Connecting an external monitor to test the display. Connect an external monitor to the computer. Computer keeps disconnecting from Wi-Fi. If your Wi-Fi is working fine but your computer keeps disconnecting from it, then your computer's network card may not be receiving full power. Windows has a built-in power saver option that gives less power to the network card. You need to disable this feature. Number 1. Go to the advanced settings in the power option. Number 2. Here, expand wireless adapter settings and then expand power saving mode. Number 3. Set this to the maximum performance. Camera is not working. If your camera is not working, Try the following steps. Check for updates. Select Start, then select Settings, Update, and Security. Windows Update, check for updates. If you see the option to view optional updates, Select it to see if there are updates available for your camera. Allow available updates to install. Then restart your device when it's ready. If you haven't restarted your device since the camera stopped working, you should do so. Select Start, then select Power, Restart. Waking up your device from sleep isn't the same thing as a restart. Test your camera with the camera app. Select Start, then choose Camera from the list of apps. If you're asked to allow access to the camera, select Yes. If camera works in the camera app, the problem might be with the app you're trying to use. Roll back the camera driver. If your camera stopped working after an update, try these steps. Number 1. In Device Manager, Press and hold or right-click your camera, and then select Properties. Number 2. Select the Driver tab, select Roll Back Driver, and then choose Yes. Some drivers don't provide this option. If your driver doesn't have Roll Back Driver available, 
go ahead to the next fix. Number 3. After the rollback driver is complete, restart your device and then try opening the camera app again. Number 4. If rolling back didn't work or isn't available, continue to the next steps. Uninstall your camera driver and scan for hardware changes. Number 1. In Device Manager, press and hold or right-click your camera and then select Properties. Number 2. Select the Driver tab, then select Uninstall Device. Number 3. In Device Manager, on the Action menu, select Scan for Hardware Changes. Number 4. Wait for it to scan and reinstall updated drivers. Restart your PC and then try opening the camera app again. Printer If your printer completely stops printing, the best thing to do is to start with the basics. Number 1. Check the power. Make sure your printer is turned on and has power. Number 2. Check the paper. Make sure you have paper in the paper tray. Typically, if there is no paper, you will see an alert on either your PC's display or the printer's LCD panel. Check the printer even if no error message pops up on your screen. Number 3. Check the connection. Check that the cable, probably USB, connecting the printer to your PC or router is plugged into its appropriate port. If necessary, try a different USB port. 